Hi guys, in this video, I am going to discuss about binding navigator in Seesaw.net Windows application. So, let's uh, go to toolbox and here uh, or take the cursor at binding navigator. So, about to binding navigator provides a user interface for navigator and manipulate data bond. So, it provides interface of navigation and manipulate. So, manipulate data means so we can link the data uh, base and we can do the operation like uh, insert, delete, update. So let's uh, see one example. Or uh, there I'm using a uh, binding navigator. So for this I'm going to toolbox and here I need on level control. So at here I'm going to take a uh, level control or uh, total numbers of Add here this is my or table and this is my or database SAM. So add here in the table total numbers of columns are five. So add here I'm going to take five label control control C control B. So this is the first or fifth here this is the third and here this is the second. Now hereafter I am going to take a uh, text box control. So this is the text box. So here I am going to take uh, 5 text box. So total number of text box on 5. Now here I am going to change the uh, label text. So add here or here id name is so at here i'm going to give for text property id and here name and here h and here after Next is city and department. City. Here. Yeah. Department. Now here after uh, let's uh, select the text box and uh, here after or go to data binding and your select text so inside the text select drop down and your add project data source so click here so add here this is the wizard or data source configuration wizard so database selected so okay next data set and here after or let's click on name so if you don't know the server name, so friendly like right at your local host. And you have after this the Windows authentication is okay. Now here I'm going to select the database SAM. So this is my or database SAM inside of SAM or two tables EMP details and EMP. So this is my EMP underscore details. So this table I'm going to use. And here after test connection. Now click on next, here next. So add here, uh, you can select uh, any tables like uh, you can select both whatever and if you want then you can select views as to as any. So according to our uh, requirement and here after data set then so uh, 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 same data set sets ok. Now click on finish. So I do this or text box here I'm going to use for ID next name here or is city. So this text ID for ID name is city and text. So add here select the text box and text box selected and you have to go to the text and here 
or uh, this is the project and your or uh, emp underscore detail so this is my uh, table and your select emp id so see at your emp eid selected now here after go to text box and you do the same so at here i need next name so name and here this is for s and here this is for setting and next for department now all are selected and here after let's uh, drag uh, at here a uh, binding navigator into the form and you have to select this binding navigator and here after go down so at your find binding source so select all uh, there and if you create all those things all this part so that the that come so at your emp details binding so select that one so that's it now let's uh, execute and check so see at your all the database records its appear at your so at your five so total numbers of rows are at your five one two three four five and uh, here after here so if you if you like to uh, see or uh, next to uh, id or uh, number so here you click this move next here so 20 wizard let's compare with database so this is the database add here so 20 word name is word here is 67 and here city city and here after the department it and you must click on next so add here this is for 21 and here 21 plus h 45 and here belly and curve so this is for or next so here this for next and this for previous so this for previous so if you are like to go in last you have to click this option move to last and here after this is for move first and if you want to uh, if you want to delete some records so you have to click this option so records is deleted from here but it's it won't be affected at here because i did not set any update to updated part i didn't set it so here if i'm going to or uh, execute this one so it's nothing affected so here after i'm going to show you or uh, how to, uh, to add new records to delete new records and do some modification to update or uh, add here so it will directly affect to the database answer click add your menu bar and you have to click on drop down and here i'm going to take one button control so here to restrict button control now here after i'm going to click on button control or to restrict button control so at here click event it's a fire now here after let's write this dot validate so it's a one method to validate to the controls so this used to validate the controls now here after or this dot and here emp write the table name so it's a directly come at here emp detail binding source so binding source is used to bind or uh, windows form to database so select this one and you have to write end edit so about the end edit applies pending changes and underline or data source so this is what and add it now here after write to or this keyword again and your next for emp emp table adapter and here or 
write update and here base dot so I'm going to do the update on SAM data set. So see at here this is the SAM data set. So this is the connection and here of to our table update. So table update or component of your or data set with data from the database and based on one or more queries or store processor. So this is what table adapter. So it's a one component to fill data set with data or from the database. So here yeah, this is the use of table adapter. Now let's uh, uh, execute and check and so uh, is it working right or not. So I do it's all a app here. So if for this is for or db detain here yeah, 20. Now here, uh, here I am going to uh, do one modification. So add here I am going to change the id. So add here giving 40. Now here click this option. So this inside or uh, to restrict I have written update uh, updated uh, code. So let's click there. And one more thing it's updated but it's not showing anything. So add here. It's updated, check at here if you execute the query. So see at here, it's so now uh, 40. So at here, I'm going to write one more thing message box dot so method. So at here, printing. If the value is updated, so at here, I'm going to print updated. Now let's execute. So add here I'm going to or uh, or do modification on CT. So suppose if Alan move uh, from London to or uh, Chicago. So add here right Chicago and now click on this. So here add here. Uh, message printing update successfully. Now here after let's check into the our database execute. So add here. Uh, it's Allen is now move. Our current city is now Chicago. So like uh, this way, or uh, you can delete some record also. So add here. So I'm going to uh, remove for uh, all uh, this uh, records. So add here. Click on or delete option. So add here. It's the displaying for only. Now let's the check into the database. So item 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So one more thing after deleting you have to apply this or you have you have to click this option. So now update updated successfully. Now again check into the database. So see item it's now this time 4. So then the ID 10 it's deleted. And here after if you want to insert some records, so click on plus. So I am giving ID 10 and your name or Billy. And here is or 32 and your city Miami and your or department there. So after writing this all, so you have to click on this option over there to extract button. So I have updated successfully. Now let's so check into the database execute. So I have tail Billy third to Miami says. So this is the use of uh, so this is the use of uh, uh, binding navigator in CSO.net Windows application. So this bind. So at here I am providing this uh, binding source. So this bind and hereafter this all to this or uh, suitable calculation and after uh, printing suitable output. 
So I hope guys you understand the uses of binding navigator. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next video. Thank you.